Hi, I'm Joy, and this is my channel, Yoga with Joy. This is a standing sequence for strengthening the core. That's your wonderful pelvic floor and abdominal muscles all around here. Focusing quite a lot on the pelvic diaphragm, the pelvic floor. So this here being your pubic bone and this here being your tailbone. And here is here are your this is your right sit bone and your left sit bone and this wonderful muscle this diaphragm here at the base right at the base of your pelvis and of course as a woman all the muscles inside your vagina and the front and the back and the sides and your cervix at the top so whatever you're experiencing whether that's all still intact who knows so just really enjoy strengthening toning stabilizing this area this whole area and the rest of your body will be will be strengthened too with these exercises so i hope you enjoy um, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already just down below and i have a membership program as well so you can join that if you wish and that's just a way of getting to know each other a little bit better a bit of mutual support and also I have an e-course or online course coming out or it probably might be already by the watching this video here's my website just below so I look forward to seeing you in a moment on the mat for a standing practice <laughs> Bargo de vasya di mahi, di yo yo na prachoda iya. Okay, we'll begin this practice in Tadasana, the mountain posture. So bringing your feet about hip width apart and planting them, resting them, grounding them down onto the mat. And let's just focus for a moment on the instep, the arches of your feet. So just slightly lift the arches and notice how this activates the legs, especially the inside of the legs. And there'll be a slight activation of the pelvic diaphragm. And start to gently tuck the pelvis, just really on a, a small amount, just especially if you have got a lodotic curve, accentuated curve, you can just slightly tuck the pelvis. The feet are in a little bit, so the outside edges of the feet are in line with the mat. And then lifting up your toes and gently softening them down one toe at a time, from little toe to big toe. So the toes are as wide as they want to be. So obviously listening to your natural anatomy, <laughs> not forcing yourself into any position. But this is generally a lovely way to start in Tadasana. So softening the shoulders, maybe you'll roll back the shoulders and then soften them down. Slight engagement of the abdomen here. Softening around your brow and your jaw and the back of the neck. Just noticing a gentleness, a gentle lifting from the crown. So closing your eyes and just resting the hands by your side. And taking a moment to be here in Tadasana, the mountain. Just taking a few steady breaths. And then gently opening your eyes. You can begin with breathing and being here, just um, engaging the pelvic abdominal area. So opening up the hands, inhale, closing the hands, exhale. And notice a gentle lifting as you exhale, inhale opening, 
and exhale. Feel this engagement around the abdominal area, pelvic floor. It's a gentle lifting, gentle engaging. Inhale, releasing. And exhale, gently closing. Feeling the lifting. Inhale. And exhale, lovely. Feeling expansion of your belly as you inhale around the rib cage and around the chest, and then a gentle softening of these areas as you exhale. Opening and gently lifting, engaging as you soften on the exhale. Lovely. If you need to feel around, I always do have a little feel around what's going on. That's really good. Okay, we're going to bring in a slight balance. So exhaling up, closing the hands. Inhale, open as you come down. Exhale, balancing up, lifting up the pelvic diaphragm, abdominal area here. Exhale. Inhale, sorry. Exhale as you come up. Inhale down. Exhale. And inhale. And inhale down. That's wonderful. Now bringing in like a fountain moving up, so bringing in your hands a little bit wider, so you can keep your feet still on the mat if that's too many things going on, or you can carry on with the lifting. We might bring in the lifting in a moment. So we're gonna exhale, take a breath in, and then exhale. Up, feel the engagement of abdominal area. Inhale, opening up, prana mudra. Exhaling. Exhale, inhale, open, and then exhale. So that's the hand movement. Inhale as you go up, exhale, exhale as you go up, inhale, and then exhale. So you're feeling the lifting as you exhale up. And then inhale when you're up here and coming down, then you start to exhale about here. It's a bit like swimming, <laughs> breaststroke or something. Okay, so what's happening here is as you exhale and you're engaging, your sit bones are just coming towards each other. It's going to come towards each other. And as you inhale, opening up, releasing, feeling the sit bones moving away from each other. And then so exhale, feeling those sit bones, inhale, they're releasing away from each other, relaxing down, In exhale, as you come up, feeling the lifting. So all the muscles around here are lifting, there's a lifting here of the pelvic floor Engaging here as you exhale. So keep going. Exhale. Inhale. Now if you wish, just stay here. Or if you want to, you can bring in the balance. Exhale. Inhale down. Exhale. Feeling the sit bones moving towards each other. Inhale. Down. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, sit bones moving towards each other, engaging of the abs, pelvic floor. You can just see how it naturally happens anyway. So the thing is, if it's not happening, if you're not feeling engaging, you really need to focus on, on that or you're going to probably hurt your lower back. That's often what happens. So exhale, inhale, this is the last one. And then coming down, wonderful. 
Fantastic. So that's already pretty strong in that area. So let's just move it out. If you're anything like me, that's quite a strong exercise. Subtle but strong. Okay, so we're going to come into, I'll move on to this side for this one. We're going to come into a squat. Just very, very gentle squat, really mini squat. So we're going to um, inhale down, so releasing as you come down. The, the sit bones are moving away from each other. As you exhale, they're coming towards each other. Okay, so inhale down. Exhale, kind of bringing back up. Inhale down. Careful with your lower back. We're really engaging abdominal muscles here. Inhale down. Exhale, engaging. Coming back up. Looking after your lower back, you can slightly tuck your pelvis, the tailbone. Inhale, and then exhale, feeling your sit bones move towards each other as you come up. Inhale, down, releasing, opening. Exhale, as you come up, fantastic. So your feet are still hip width apart, so you've got real integrity, real strong posture to keep, keep, the, keep the integrity of the whole movement. Okay, so we're just going to slightly tuck the pelvis now. So inhale down, exhale, scooping up. Inhale down, can you see the difference in that? And exhale, scooping up, that's lovely. Inhale down, exhale, engaging here, scooping up. You might feel the lifting even in, even in the wall of the vagina of your vagina and all the muscles around your pelvic floor. That's lovely. So inhale down, exhale, scooping. Inhale down, releasing, opening sit bones, exhale, scooping. Inhale down, exhale, scooping. Lovely. And then release. Okay. Again, let's just have a little shake out. That's good. Okay, and just swing from side to side. Just releasing so there's no engaging. You don't need to worry about what you're doing. Let's have a little swing around. So coming back in to Tadasana. We're going to move into a tree exercise, Vrikshasana. And so this is where you might want the block or anything that you can pass between your hands. Um, so I'll just pop that block there for a moment. We'll come into the low tree posture. So you're opening up your hips. You might wish to, or the right hip, so left leg planted, the right hip is open. So you might wish to come up further, even up here, avoid the knee but I'm going to stay down here and I think this is enough for this particular exercise. So we're going to exhale up, feeling the engaging of abdominal muscles, pelvic floor, and then passing the block and then inhale down. Let's try this without the block first. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. The reason why we're doing the breathing this way around is so that we can engage as we bring the arms up. Exhale up, inhale down. Lovely. Exhale, inhale. That's brilliant. Okay, so from here we'll bring in the block here. So in your hand, you have the block. Exhale up. Inhale down. Quite a lot stronger with the block. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale. 
exhale. Inhale, making sure you're keeping your abdominal muscles really strong. Exhale. Inhale. And your pelvic floor, of course, is getting involved. Exhale. Inhale. Fantastic. So that's enough for this side. We'll place down the block. And have a little move from side to side. With that strong on your pelvis. And placing the right foot down. And the left foot coming into its place, wherever that was for you. Bringing the arms to your belly area. Exhale up. Inhale down. So this is targeting one side of your core muscles at a time. So your pelvic floor. So you'll notice there's you're, the, you're balancing on one side. And that means you're <clears throat> getting to target one side at a time. Inhale down. Exhale. Inhale down. It's lovely. We'll bring in the block. Okay. Exhale up. Really needing to engage now. Inhale down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Making sure your abs are engaged so that you'll keep protecting your lower back. Inhale down. Exhale up. Feeling the lifting of your pelvic diaphragm. Inhale down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Fantastic. Okay. So just placing your block down and just having a little move from side to side. That's great. Okay, so we'll just finish off by releasing. So bring the feet so they're further uh, wider than hip width, and we'll just Take a little bit of releasing of the arms, the pelvis, the knees. And if you need to lift your heels, please do. Or bob the knees, protect the knees. The shoulders. Twist in the thoracic spine. And then release and have a little shake. Let it all wobble out. Okay, fantastic. So let's finish off in our mountain, remembering you're planting the feet, lifting the toes, placing them down, lifting through the arches of the feet. Slight tuck here, soft shoulders, brow, jaw, back of the neck, feeling a gentle Lifting right from the base to the crown. Feeling loose in the arms. And let's bring the hands to the heart center. And take a moment of stillness. Love and appreciation for your body. Love and appreciation for you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. It's really lovely to have you here. And of course, if you haven't already, you can subscribe below and join membership program. The join button, button should be there. And if you'd like to know about anything else I'm up to, like my online course, which is being birthed at some point, and or maybe already is when you're watching this, um, my, this is my website, web address and the link there. Okay, so 
Just lots and lots of love to you and here's to a healthy and happy life. <laughs> Di yo yo na prajodai.